Okay, YouTube, I'm back, and this is what I was talking about here. Um, it's shut off, and you, know, you won't be able to see that, but up here, it's saying it's a low battery warning, and the voltage is 21.7 volts. That's, you know, you can see it's slowly trying to climb because it's not under load, so it's 21.8 volts. Um, you know, that's not under load. So what I'm guessing is that this time, I believe the freezer kicked on and pulled it down, so... Again, anything with a motor is is like taboo. Okay, uh, one moment. Okay, I'm back, YouTube. It's in the dark because um, I, I have to reset the uh, the inverter, and I unplugged the freezer this time. So here, as you can see, it's you know the voltage is actually climbing. So that's why I'm setting it at 18 volts uh, for low voltage cutoff because. Um, it's not really eight. It's not at 18 volts at rest and uh, not under load. So um, now let me reset this. And I've got to reset it by just switching it off. And then I'm going to switch on the batteries again. And you'll see you'll see what happens in a minute. And as you can see, the voltage is climbing 22.4. The magna sign inverter is initializing, as you can see. And as soon as it initializes, I'm just going to switch it on inverter. And as you can see, I switched it back on inverter, and there you have it. Okay, we're inverting now. The voltage is at 20 20.2, and, and slowly dropping. And okay, now we're at 40 amps. All right, I'm going to keep it at 40 amps um, and see how long this goes. Now this thing's been running for roughly three hours, um, just on just over three hours. Three, oh, well, I'm sorry, three and a half hours. Three and a half hours. And so this is a steady rate now. You know, if this is a steady draw, a, a steady draw, I think we can make it. We can make it. If it's a, if it just maintains it, as you can see, it went back to 100 because I reset things. I need to change that setting if I can. Um, it's a steady draw. If, I, if we stay at, at, at steady, a steady 40 amp draw, I think we can, you know, we can do this with no problem. Okay, we can definitely do this at no problem. However, if we throw in, you know, uh, a, a free, a motor, some type of compressor or anything like that, as you would find in a, uh, a refrigerator or a freezer, all bets are off. Okay, it'll, it'll hang for a while until it gets down to the low voltage and then it's going to, <clears throat> and then it's going to kick off. So now, as you can see right here, we're at 19 volts. And at at still drawing about 40 amps, and it's a steady. It'll you'll see that it's a steady decline. It's a steady decline, and so I'm going for at least four hours uh, like this. Now in an emergency situation, all right. Now what do I need to do in order to offset that that freezer, you know, kicking on and and that it's the surge. It's the surge from the compressor that draws that power to start up that motor, right? It's the surge, and I need something. And I talked to some of you folks on, on it with, in the comments, and about uh, something that will help me in that regard. The only other, the only other thing that I can think of that would you know to, that to do this uh, is to add more batteries, actually. Uh, but you know, I don't want to. I don't want to have to do that if I don't have to. Um, but you know, these you know these batteries were not cheap. But you see, the key thing is for a steady draw, a steady draw. I think we can do it. I think it can be done, and, it, and the capacity will be you know what I expect it to be. Uh, but at this low setting here, when you know when that compressor kicks on, um, just not gonna happen. All right, I've unplugged the freezer and the refrigerator. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to simply, you know, I'm going to take that thing over there in the corner <laughs> and I'm going to plug in my refrigerator and I'm going to let that battery, which is a flooded lead acid battery and it's 150 amp hours. And I'm going to say, refrigerator, you handle this thing. <laughs> um, and for everything else, I'm, I'm going to continue the test. Okay, take care of you two.
Hello again, YouTube, and I'm back. YouTube, and I'm back, and uh, I, I've got my refrigerator plugged into my little backup unit there. And what I've discovered is when I plugged it in, that refrigerator, I mean, it just when it kicks on uh, right now, it just one, it just kicked up. It takes 1.26 amps, and the motor is you know it's running at 150, but at, you know 150 watts, and right now, and so but when I when I kicked that thing on, um, I mean, just to start it, it was like 900 over, uh, close to eight or 900, you know, watts, uh, about nine amps to just to bring that thing online. And so, if this thing is, you know, not running, and all of a sudden that motor or that compressor kicks on, um, yeah, I, I, I've got some issues with this refrigerator. And um, as you can see right here, it's taking about 1.26 amps. Now, uh, you know, as it's running right now, that's no big deal. That's no big deal at all. It's just that when it starts from a cold start, um, that, that motor, when it wants to kick on and it wants juice, it, it wants juice. So I need something that will, you know, kind of deal with that. But anyway, um, and also, this thing it drugged my battery down to you know it, it started out at 12.9 and so it just by this alone it drug it down by six volts um, you know under load it, it you know it's 12.3 and so that just lets me know that re that refrigerator is a monster and it's a beast and so um, you know so I have to take that into consideration all right Take care, YouTube, but, you know, the testing continues.